Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will make a deep dive in microbit. We will create our first new project. We are going to look at how the simulator is working and we will also going to look at some of the code blocks. So the first step to do is go to makecode.microbit.org and here you will see a button called new project. Click on it and the first thing you need to do is give your project name. Here I am going to give deep dive. And another thing to notice here is that if you click on this code options, you are going to see three options here. Block, Python only and JavaScript only. So based on which language you are interested in, you can choose whichever item you want. In this case, I'm going to choose block and click on create button. Now, once you click on create button, you will see a screen similar to this. So this screen here has two main paths. On the left hand side, we can see our simulator and on the right hand side, we can see our code editor. Now I'll just focus on the simulator first and I'll launch it in full screen so we can understand how the simulator is. So in this simulator, we can see that in the middle we have some LED lights. So each of the row has 5 LED lights. So in total there are 25 LED lights. On the left hand side we have this button A. On the right hand side we have this button B. And at the bottom we have these pins. So we have this 0 pin. We have this 1 pin. And we have this 2 pin. Now if you let's say bought a real hardware device you can actually click or press these buttons and pins I'll now make it back to normal screen and let's look at the right screen now so on the right hand side we can see that we have some categories here so we have this basic category input category music and a lot more categories if we click on these advanced button now based on the categories if you let's say click on the basic one you'll see there are a lot of code blocks and by using these code blocks you are going to make your code so let's look at our coding area first so in this coding area you can see that we have two blocks already there the first one is called on start and the second one is called forever now let's say i just want to make a heart shape on my simulator so what I can do is I can click on this basic block. I can click on show icon. Here I can choose many icons but I'll choose this heart. And then I can place this show icon code block in the on start. And then to run the code I can simply press the start and now you can see that my simulator shows and lights up those LED lights and the shape is of heart so this is how you make your code once you write the code in the code editor the output is automatically shown in the simulator you can also press the stop button and then play button again and if we look at the bottom we have this download button as well what it does it you can take the file and share it with someone as well and also here we have the option to connect the device if you have bought the hardware and if you see here this is our project name and the next button is the save button if we look at this next button create github repository now we'll not go into creating github repositories but uh, a github is basically a place to store your code and share it with other programs now this is the basics of microbit we have looked at the screen if you let's say want to change from block coding to javascript or python you can also click on this list here and you can choose any programming language you want but this is just the basics of microbit and from the next tutorial we'll go in depth on these categories we'll start using some of these code blocks so we can understand coding better so that's it for this tutorial, join me in the next one.